حلو She doesn't mind being held, so do you want to get bit down? Hi everyone, my name is Akasha and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the process of me adopting my kitten and I'm going to have all the vlog videos in here if you guys want to see those too. So let's go ahead and just get right into it. I just want to put a little disclaimer before we start. Um, I'm filming on my Canon EOS M200 and I'm using the audio from the camera instead of my mic because I just want to see if it sounds good, I guess, because I think it'll be fine. Um, I've done vlogs with this camera, so anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and get back on track. So first things first, I have a little sticky note with all the little things that I'm gonna mention, so if I'm looking down a lot, that's why, and I haven't been in front of a camera in a minute. I've just been doing a lot of voiceover, so don't mind me. So the first thing I did to get my kitten was I had to fill out the local um, animal shelter's adoption forms, and I got her from a shelter, not like a breeder or any of that stuff and I don't think it's good to do that anyways right because they're like breeding the cats on purpose I don't know you guys know what I'm saying kind of like um like puppy mills are bad you know oh my god my ears are huge all I know is it's just good to get them from a shelter and she's really cute and no one wanted her like they adopted all her siblings and she was left behind so and I think it's because she's a tortoise shell cat and people just thought it didn't look cute because this is what she looked like and yeah, so I think she's really cute. Here's what she looked like earlier today. Okay, so I filled out the local animal shelters forms. Basically just asked you if you have like any pets, um, your name, your number, which like animal you're interested in. We're also in a time where COVID's going on, so you're not allowed to come in and see the animals like you would have been able to before. So you just see the cat, kitten, dog, whatever um, online and you have to just go off the image if you like the, the pet. You'll just have to buy them without seeing them first because you just get to see a photo. So I didn't even get to see her until after I adopted her. So I just saw the photo that I showed you guys. I had to email back and forth with the shelter because the first time I filled out the forms, all the kittens that I was interested in got adopted and there was a couple of them. So it's like, that was really quick. They like responded the next day and they were like, oh, they're all gone. Okay, so then I filled it out again and this time all of them were gone except her. So that's how you, that's how I knew she was the one. <laughs> I mean, I didn't get to go in and see them to like pick, pick out which kitten I wanted, but I really wanted a kitten because I feel like older cats already have like a personality and I felt like she was little and she could kind of grow personality and I wanted a cuddly social cat and that's exactly what she is, but I think she came like that because like right away she was like going around, looking around her surroundings, you know, all of that fun stuff. And she's really social. She loves, loves, loves to be around people all the time. Um, and she trails a lot. If you don't know what trailing is, look it up. Cause I just figured out that's what it's called like this week and I've had her for two months. But it's like this little like chirping sound they make and it's so cute. It's like their way of greeting you. So I think that's really adorable. I emailed back and forth with the shelter and Basically, I sent them my um, forms and then she told me that, that she was available and asked when I could pick her up and she gave me the option of like that day or the next day and I said the next day because I was working that night and I didn't want to bring her home and not be here um, because I work overnights. So basically, she's right here anyway. So yeah, we emailed back and forth um, a little bit with her asking for like an ID since I don't own my house, my parents do. So they were like, okay, well we need IDs from them um, just because they wanted to make sure that my parents were actually on board with this. But it was kind of their idea because I had wanted a pet for a while, but I gave up on it because they weren't interested in me getting a pet. Um, my mom has allergies. I actually have allergies. I take allergy pills around her a lot. Um, at, like sometimes it kind of goes away and I think it's when I'm around her for like, like back-to-back -back days that's when my allergies really flare up but um yeah when I'm like working and then I come home it's usually fine but recently I've been home for two weeks so like this week they got really bad but I'm okay I just took some pills my doctor said it's fine so I was like okay she asked me if I wanted to pay in person I said I would pay in person and I paid with a card and I think it was like either one 50 or 175 and the day before I got her like the night of it was like 3 a.m. 
I ordered like her food, her litter. The food came in, the litter did not come in until the next day, so I bought another box. I still have like two bags of litter, like, cause my mom bought some too, and I accidentally ordered another bag, so I, I have a lot of litter. And then the food that I got her, like the dry food, I got like a huge pack, like probably this big, and um, that is almost out now, and it's been two months. And then I have had to buy her like wet food pretty often because they don't have a lot of that in bulk. Like I think I, I bought like 12 cans at a time or something. And um, this time we went to Costco and bought like a 40 pack. But I heard that Purina isn't that good for cats, like the ingredients and stuff. So this time the bulk was from Purina. But I think next time I'm going to try to get something else because I don't think it's good for her. Um, I read about that like some time back that the ingredients that they were putting in Purina is like actually like giving pets seizures. I feel like that's like probably not happening anymore, but just to be safe, I think I'm gonna get her something else. But I heard about that happening with dogs with Purina, so if you guys know anything about that. I tried to look up like a bunch of different cat brands, but that's for another video. We'll test out brands if you guys want us to do that, me and her. She's so cute. Did you hear that? She trilled. She's really cute. Okay, so yeah, I picked her up. I'm so excited! And... Before I picked her up, I went to buy some last minute things like a collar, food, um, a litter box because I did not have a litter box. And then the shelter also gave me some dry food for her, some wet food, um, like a toy, uh, like my forms that I filled out because she tested positive for like some sort of like female, feline, I said female, feline leukemia gene I think or something and then or I don't even know what it was. I have to like look at the papers again or it was, I'll put it right here. And um, she tested positive for it and then she tested negative later on, but they were saying like, it's good to test them again in a couple months. I'll probably have to get her tested soon just to be sure that she didn't have it or whatever it is. Um, because kittens usually have it if their mother has it to test positive at first and then it's negative. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just gonna shut up. So I brought her home and then you guys will see all the things I got. I got a, um, like the food, the litter box, the litter, the scoop, the cat tree, Burt's Bees shampoo, cat toothbrush, um, which I haven't used yet. I will make a video when I do that. Um, like the brush, dental treats, tilted bowls. Yeah. And I don't have a lot of information here written down, but she is really cute. And like, I swear, like she understands me. But yeah, I bought like a bunch of stuff um, and you guys will see all of that. I do have one thing sit sitting in front of me, so I'll show you guys that now. So this is um, something that gets poured into her water. And it's just to keep their teeth nice and dental care. And I got this from Walmart. And then I have a bunch of her toys, like this one uh, I bought on Amazon in like a 29 pack, I believe. And um, she will run after it if I keep waving it around, so I'll stop because I think she wants to nap. This is the brush I got her off of Amazon and I like it because if you press this all the hair slides down and off of the, the thing so you can just easily slide all the hair out. And I also bought this. This came in the 29 pack of toys. Um, it was obviously like flattened when I got it like so but there that is. Oh, and she was eight weeks old when I got her and I got her on like, I think October the 21st and she is now four months old, almost five. And the shelter told me that they think that she would be best on her own. Um, one of my college classmates came over and uh, she brought her kitten with her who was all, also the same age as her. And she was like, I've never heard her do this. I've never heard her hiss. And I've never in my life heard a cat growl. I had a cat back when I was like in elementary school and my cat never growled. She growled, like she was She was very like, she didn't want to play. She was being a fighter and she wanted to, she was trying to like swat at her, hiss, growl, anything. I was shocked. I was like, not my child, but yeah. It was, It's hard to get her to look at the camera. Her scratching post came in too, but I have to assemble it. The first piece of furniture that I put together on my own 
and it's not even mine. So you guys will just see like all the little vlog clips now, I guess, um, of when I got her. And yeah, if you guys want to know anything else or have any questions, comment down below. I don't know if there's anything else I need to mention, so just comment if you have any questions, suggestions, etc. And I hope this is a very simple, straightforward video for you guys. It's not really that great. I haven't sat in front of the camera in a while, so I'm sorry about that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.